So today we're going to utilize more space that we have in the greenhouse. About So I have this little, it's probably maybe two and a half feet. <clears throat> so I decided I would just put in this, instead of a gutter, I made this thing up, okay? So these are just tees with an elbow on the end here. And then I have to finish completing that right here. So I'm going to add, I may reduce it down to two inch and then drop it into this um, system right there. And that'll drain back into the, um, the tote at the bottom of the hill. But then I can utilize this space right here because I have, you know, plenty of room and it's not being used. And Buddy says he agrees with everything that I'm talking about. And he's ready to get to work. You tell him, Buddy. So these are my seven foot towers right here. I pre-cut them the other day. But they're ready to uh, get the foam put in them, finish them off. And so we're going to do that now. Okay, so here we have our seven foot tower. And uh, I've got the slip cut in it. We have our foam right here, and what it's going to take is, <clears throat> when you buy this stuff from uh, Hipco, it comes in five foot lengths. You fold it in half, like this, you're going to have two and a half feet, and you do that twice, and that takes care of your five foot tower. But since we're seven feet, we're, we're going to have to use three of them. <clears throat> now I need to put a wicking strip in here. In one of my previous videos, I talked about this particular wicking strip. This was our testing material that the uh, manufacturer made for us. <clears throat> the design of this is made to where this stuff will eventually deteriorate and it's soft enough that the uh, roots can penetrate it, but it will wick enough to pull up enough moisture to hold those roots wet. And uh, then you don't have to worry if you have pump pump failure or when you're shut down or anything like that. The only drawback is they give it to us in big sheets like this. So here's our wicking strip. You just need to put it about halfway. You're going to fold this part over. So just bring those together. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see that. Buddy's getting a better look, aren't you, bud? This stuff, foam is very soft, like I said before, it's very easy to work with. And I just start spreading it by hand like this, and it'll go right in there. There's no problem with it sliding in. And if it starts to be a little bit of a problem, you can take scissors, screwdriver, anything, shove down into your fold, and then just start pulling it in like this. You just have to make sure your wicking strip stays in here. Now I'm working on a new uh, product, a, a new type of foam, we're going to call it the dirt, and it may eliminate this wicking strip. In other words, <clears throat> when we grow, normally I grow in these little um, uh, flats like this, when we pull these out we have a little bit of dirt here and roots and everything and we put those in. The, the new system will pull it out. It'll just be a piece of foam. And since it's a piece of foam, it'll drop right in here and it'll act as our wicking strip. And we won't, we won't need this wicking strip to go in. So we just pull this on through like so. Right in with this one like that. Now on these longer towers, they're a little bit more difficult to work with than the five foot towers. And so sometimes you struggle with them a little bit, uh, a little bit more to get them in here. But <clears throat> if you're going to do a lot of long towers, then I would suggest putting a board down here, putting a, a hole in your end with a screw coming up in the board so that your tower, you can lock your tower onto your table. And you don't have to keep holding it. But see, that just slides right in there. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Just pull this one right straight on up. I'm going to go ahead and pull this all the way up here. Now we'll go back and grab this one. Same thing, just pull it all the way up. And we don't have to put the plants in right now. 
we put the plants in after we get all the foam in that's the beauty of these towers see they're very we can flex them and just open those up and drop them right in okay so now we're ready for our next a uh, piece of foam and I'm going to take a measurement here uh -huh. cut off this extra see this stuff is very spongy I'll give you all the information on the foam company again at the end of the uh, video so those of you that missed the other video where I gave you the information um, you can have everything <clears throat> you just have to buy this stuff by the box full they won't sell at retail so you're kind of screwed that way because <clears throat> uh, it can get a little expensive by the box full a five foot tower of this foam will cost you on the wholesale price fourteen dollars per tower if you use the fiber which was the other media that I was talking about on my foam or fiber media uh, video then <clears throat> It will cost you ten dollars. Okay, I got a little bit extra here, so I'm just going to take my scissors and trim all that extra off because this part is going down into that collar on that T, and I just don't want this extra laying down in the uh, tube, blocking any water or anything. Okay. Okay, so we can start planting the tower now. Like I said in the other video, I use a one-inch putty knife. I just come along here. Stick it in here, it opens up a nice gap. I don't know if you can see that. My hand might be in the way. Maybe I can do it this way. Just pull out any of these little guys. They're all ready to be planted. Drop it in, whoops. Drop it in there and we're in business. I'll try to do this left-handed. A little backwards to me, but that way you can see better on the camera. Okay, there it is, complete. So this one's ready to go hang. So with these towers right now, I occupied this little space, but the thing is, I've got basil in there, but I may convert these over to strawberries, just because that's what I like to eat. But this makes a really nice use of that space, which otherwise, I really couldn't use because the structure is so small.